A few moments later. Hey there, today I decided to make a Legon boss guide because I've heard a lot of complaints about it, but he's actually pretty easy. First things first, you will want to have your resistances capped. This will make the fight so much easier on you and most of the things will not really really hurt you there is just two attacks you have to watch out for which will be demonstrated here uh, i'm doing this under leveled so it's a bit harder even but all you have to do is actually go left to right just in rhythm this attack can one shot you so if you get stuck in it you will have a bad time and then this is the second one the moon blast is also the one shot other attacks are actually pretty meek so you don't need to worry about them too much but still you will want to keep that rhythm if you're not good at dancing just count as i did but the most important thing is to not stand still because then he will lock on you with the attack now in this phase i'm right now i'm not even using all of my defensive tools i'm actually using none of them because it really isn't that hard now in the middle you can see the moon the full moon is forming when that comes to a uh, full circle you will get into phase two it might take some time but you just have to keep doing the same thing don't get caught up if you do a mistake just you know try to correct it it's not too hard because most of the time he will miss you don't worry about the tentacles they're not so uh, hard hitting as everything else is from him but here i just know that he will not hit me he's just missing and now phase two begins now watch out when you are not teleported you can still get hit by his heavy hitting attacks and then phase two begins you just destroy the tentacles and try to avoid the waves he will bring up some mobs here and there they're not too hard to deal with but just make sure that you try to avoid the uh, waves here. They can slow you down. I am using my defensive tools here just to make everything go a little bit faster. But other than that, this phase is more tedious than it is hard. So you just have to bear with to get to phase 3. Again, the moon is forming there. And when it comes to the full moon, you will be transported back to Lagon and his two tentacles right here you can see i'm going back phase three begins it's the same as phase one nothing much new except for the waves you have to avoid but you have to keep doing what you did in phase one and i know he will not hit me with any of his one shot attacks here i just dodged with a teleport and then the moon blast this one will kill you right away if you stand in it but here i know i'm fine this is basically all you have to do to beat the boss. Even with his uh, claw attacks, he keeps on missing me. I'm pretty sure he'll hit me now because I said it, but uh, as of now, I'm fine. See here, I didn't even go to my full attack because I knew that he will start to uh, track me. So I just decided to, to go to the other tentacle. One point both tentacles share the same health pool so it doesn't matter which one you're damaging as long as you do damage so you don't need to destroy both of them just one of them is enough and that's why this strategy works so well because you don't need to uh, stay at one place if you do get hit like i did just now don't panic try to reset and uh, you will be fine there you go he missed by far and uh, right now he just can't uh, really kill me even though he hit me right here but all you have to do is avoid his two most damaging attacks and you're done this was under leveled uh, my gear is not the best and still i managed to do it quite easily in the monolith um, i will do more content for the last epoch if you like the game you can buy it on my nexus link in the description uh, I will be making a video on why Diablo 4 cannot compete with Last Epoch, even though they are a much bigger company. If you like the video, like, subscribe for more. Until next time, be good to yourself and others. Goblin, out.